morning guys um today i'm taking you to one of my clients we are going to we are going to centurion to one of our clients we have already started this project we've only done the designs and presented them so today we are going to be taking measurements um the for the flooring and we are starting the work next week early next week so yeah it's really exciting to be working uh, on a project i mean to show you guys like like project outside of like my own project because that's what i've been showing you guys if the client is not if the client doesn't mind like showing little snippets then i'll show you guys but if uh she's not comfortable then you guys won't see but yeah i'm really excited um for this one because we just get along with the client so she's really nice um yeah anyway this is my outfit of the day i'm wearing this um sweater from mango and then this shirt that i have underneath i actually need to buy these like the collars because sometimes i just want to like wear the collar and not the like the shirt but i'm wearing the shirt inside i mean under this um this sweater and it has this beautiful peter pen color which is you guys know how much i love these and then i'm wearing my my jeans from levi's belt mango bag let me show you my shoes guys this this the, this room is a mess but these are the shoes i'm wearing um these are loafers also from mango i've been stealing this one i've been stealing this one doesn't belong to me but it smells really beautiful yeah anyway let's go i'll see you guys when we get to the the site Seems to get. Nice. Oh, yeah. So, eight, yeah. Eight and eight, yeah. What is fine? We saw it in the live. No, the compliment that say there's a green kitchen. What did you guys say? Did you say green is going to go in there? Guys, I'm back home. Whew. I wanted to quickly show you guys what we were working on today. So this is uh, a client in Centurion. Recently bought a house. They, they were like one of them, like the one of the first clients I got, and I was so excited uh, because they were doing like a full like full house renovation, and there was like. It, it's very big like it's a very big beautiful house um, and we decided to break down the um, the project like in, in phases so we have the first phase which is the the primary suite the living room dining area and the kitchen it's like open space so it, it is a double story so it's a very big very big property or very big house and um so we started with the first phase so i've done the designs um for them I've done the designs um the the mood board sorry for them and then last week i went to present the mood board and i gave them samples and they, they, they were really happy with like everything that i presented uh which is nice also guys they're honestly one of the easiest people to work with they they're just like amazing people um so i have like mood boards uh in here i don't think you guys will be able to see but i have mood boards uh the primary bed primary i mean primary bath primary bedroom 
as well as I have like different like uh, mood boards there's the dressing room um, and then what else do I have oh and then today we went to we went to take measurements for the flooring we did um, quotations it is very expensive because obviously it's like changing the like the flooring for the whole house basically so it's very it's very expensive and honestly i knew it was going to be this expensive but i also didn't know i wasn't ready for this price um but yeah it is what it is we did get um a discount so i mean we always try to get a discount at these stores when we we buy if you're buying a lot they do give you a discount so yeah so what i'm gonna do now i just need to to compile everything and then i'm going to send them the material cost um and then the labor cost and then we're hoping to start on monday or tuesday woke up super early today because we um i also wanted to get my nails done so rumbi was here uh she did my nails we're still not done with the kitchen which is honestly I want to scream. I want to scream because I'm so tired of this kitchen. I love it and I know good things take time. I've been patient, but I'm really tired now. Like I just want to have my kitchen back and um like I feel like my house is so like dirty. There's dust everywhere. We cannot even clean because obviously there's going to be dust again the following day. So I'm just like tired of living in dust. I cannot do anything. Like I seriously cannot do anything. Rumbi was here today and I like even the last time when she came, we had already started the renovation. And now I have to make like to to tell people when they're coming here and like it feel I'm always so embarrassed to be honest because I always have to tell people that ah oh, we're still busy with the renovation. Please don't mind. My house is very dirty. blah 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 and every single day i have to say the same thing whenever there's like someone coming so yeah i'm really really I, I cannot wait for this to be done and also you guys i also wanted to tell you that i don't think i'm going to be doing like vlogs anymore like the, the normal like everyday life type of vlog because i don't think i'm enjoying that like type of content anymore i don't really enjoy it uh, i'm not even watching it anymore so i just want my my channel to be um i i want to to post specific type of content like i want my channel to be educational i want you to come here to learn something i don't want you to watch me like having breakfast or uh i don't know like that the normal things that i used to do i don't think it's like educational or it doesn't like benefit anyone i don't i don't think i enjoy like pointless vlogs well i don't mean that other people are doing pointless stuff but i'm just saying for me it, it was just like pointless i don't like i don't enjoy it like i don't learn anything and i i want my i want to post stuff that is educational stuff that is meaningful and i don't just want to vlog i don't think i'm there anymore is maybe it's growth but i i don't like enjoy that anymore should i show you let me actually show you the kitchen because the kitchen i'm sure by the time you guys watch this video the ki the kitchen will, will be will be done because i'm not sure when i'm gonna post this but i know the kitchen tour will be coming before this video uh so let me show you how the kitchen looks like because we've made um progress but the issue is um Oh, being so okay, okay. In that one, <laughs> what is my? Anyway, today we went to also buy the. Guys, please don't mind that sound. We need to buy electricity. But we went to buy the bulbs, the bulbs for the the bulbs for the for the pendant and they look really nice i love them also got the lights for the the wall lights and this is the current state of the kitchen so the hood was installed yesterday uh, this like structure 
this still needs to be installed once installed we'll paint everything i just want to see how it's going to look like before we paint it but yeah once it's, it's installed we'll paint it um and then all the handles have been installed it looks so nice i'm really happy like i i can see like my vision is coming to life which really makes me happy and um it, it's currently it's a mess at the moment but yeah you guys can see i'm sorry about that sound we just need to buy electricity um and then yeah this is also done everything is installed the handles i really love these ones these ones i got on marketplace gorgeous love them so much i love the like the the, the, the traditional look on these they're so stunning i love them and then Oh, and also you guys i wanted to show you these ones this is also uh this was also installed yesterday this is the sash lock and it looks really nice it looks like a like an accessory so you open it like this and then when you close it you just lock like this and then obviously here i couldn't do it because there's only one at all so i just used like um I just used a, a knob so this is the round the round one I didn't use the flat one so if you see this one is flat yeah at the top and this one is round this one is round we have our let me just close this because it's making so much noise Oh, the other door, they still need to install the other door. It, it, it didn't fit, so they took it back for adjustments. And then this is our integrated fridge. Obviously, the, the, the doors, these are the doors. They still need to be installed. So this is the fridge side. This is the fridge side. And then this side. So... With the uh, integrated fridge, you can change the um, like how the door opens. So this one is the freezer. Um, instead of so currently it opens like this because obviously these are separate. Um, it's like separate refrigerators, so it currently opens like this. But when we install the door, we'll change that um, that hinge so that it opens the other way. So yeah, you can do that uh, when you install them because obviously if they sell them separate, they don't know like. If you're buying just one or you're buying two we'll take the hinge and put it there so that it opens the other way so this is the freezer and it's so big it's so big i've never had a freezer like this like this size it's so big but yeah that is the update guys let me just try to buy electricity because this thing is making so much noise um so tiny oh yes i can't so I'm a, I'm a downlight, I feel like even so far, so far I'm about four. One, two, three, four. Because I can't cool my downlight. Yeah, so it's not now. Because lags are kind of putting a Like inside, we extract. Now I'm going to put the lights on the inside. It's the lights, which is going to be open. So, yeah, anyway, that is all the update or the progress we've made. But by the time you guys see this video, you would have already seen the, um, the, the kitchen tour. There is our little niche. So the niche, we just have the box, the, the structure of the niche. It still needs to be, because I want it to be like, um, I want it to be like built in. So they still need to add that piece that hides the whole thing there. And then here we'll have a shelf for the, um, for the toilet, not the toilet, but for the paper towel, paper uh, the paper towel so i'm gonna like have something here to like to keep my paper towel i have a shelf here and then the paper towel will be like underneath um and then this is just for like spices and then um so these are just like everyday spices that i'm gonna use and uh some little things that i use when i cook and then i'm gonna store some spices in here in this drawer and then i have asked them to also do a spice rack like a tiny spice rack which is going to be like it, it's gonna start from here all the way up there i know i'm very short i won't be able to like um to get some things but yeah i just want it to be somewhere here 
somewhere here. I think it's gonna start here because we can't do it this side because of the, the shelves. So we can do it on this side because there's no shelves here. So it's gonna be here. Also want to show you guys some of the beautiful, the beautiful knobs I got. How stunning is this knob? So it has a back plate. So it sits like this on top of the back plate. And the bed plate adds so much detail, you guys. How stunning is this? I love it. And I also love the, the oval shape. It looks really nice. So these ones I'm gonna use there, the top above the fridge. I'm gonna use them there um, for those doors. They look really nice. I really love them. And then here, I used these ones. I use these ones here. They also have a back plate. Can't show you guys. But they also have a back plate. They look so nice. I love, I love the detail. Um, this is still not done. So the fabricator is coming tomorrow to finish up everything. Hi guys. I'm just getting ready to meet up with a client. Um, okay, so. I'm just getting ready to meet up with the client. We have planned to go to a couple of stores. Um, uh, we plan to go to a couple of places today. We are going to um, the slab to select. I mean, we're going to. I'm not sure if we're gonna go to Interslab or if we'll go to. <laughs> Union tiles, but we have to make um, selections for the slab. So we're going to select the stone today. I just need to show her the um, like the options because uh, she's never been to the um, the stone like the the warehouse before. And then we also have oh so before that we did start um, with the the floor because the main priority was the flooring. So we've started. I'll show you guys clips. I'm obviously not gonna document it as like like how i like document my renovations um yeah so we started with the flooring we've removed the tile and we'll start the installation i hope tomorrow um and then i uh, also need to meet up with the electrician so that we can um like plan the like the the tubing the, the electrical work um and then what else needs to be done Today we also need to go to, oh, the current issue that we are facing is the, the, the staircase. Obviously, as an interior designer, I do give them um, ideas. But at the end of the day, I have to keep in mind that it's not my space, so I have to do what they want. Um, and then just give them ideas uh, to enhance the look that they are going for. Uh, so the main issue that we have at the moment is the staircase. Um, so this is a young couple by the way so they have like that their styles are like completely different styles um the guy likes like modern and the um, the lady likes like uh, classics and timeless interiors so i'm trying to match like to blend the both like styles so that we can like everyone will be happy the staircase issue is that the um, the lady wants it um the, the the runner on the staircase but the guy likes like like a very like plain clean staircase no carpet no runner nothing he doesn't like that the options that we have at the moment are not working uh so we do have the towel but the towel is not gonna work uh the wood look tile which is the tile that they they've decided to go with they like the wood look tile for like the open plan the other rooms uh but then the issue is that when it comes to the staircase it doesn't work like the measurements just don't work um the we have like we've come with so many like different solutions but all of them they they do solve the issue but it just doesn't look nice we've been trying to look at different options that we have without like something that that is not going to be expensive we will also try to select fabrics for the runner um if it ends up being the option that we go for um and then we also need to select lighting 
I have a list of things that I want us to do today. So it's the stone um, slab selection at the warehouse. Then we need to sort out the staircase issue. So I'm gonna um, also gonna take it to Camerville so that we can look at samples for the staircase. And then um, I think I also want to take her to Victorian bathrooms because I love Victorian bathrooms and I know she, she will love everything there. We also need to go to the lighting uh, to look at like different lighting options, uh, especially the, the wall lights. We need to go to one of the stores uh, for lighting. And yeah, so we have like four, four items, four items for today. So we did the demo. Um, yesterday um so we are going to start installation today i mean tomorrow we we're hoping to start today but unfortunately the guys who are working on the windows are not done so we want the windows to be done then we can um we can start the tiling inside i hope everything goes according to plan so we can start the installation tomorrow i'm really excited for this um so the tile that they went for they they did uh laminate and uh the wood look tile uh they really like the one that i used in my in my kitchen so they are going to be going for the same tile when i started my business my 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 goal was to work more with like commercial clients um but i've been really struggling with that one because i feel like a lot of like i i, I realized that a lot of like companies already have their like their designers or people that they work with hi baby hello my share construction companies that they, they they've already established um they have a relationship with so it's not been easy to try and like get like into that and i've been getting a lot of clients who follow me on instagram and people who follow my homepage and also here on youtube so which is 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 great it, it's great even though it wasn't my initial plan yeah i think i'm happy with what i'm getting so far because with residential it's really exciting because obviously with commercial you don't do like kitchens like like the ones that i'm doing i feel like with residential i get to be more creative because i'm just like dealing with one person or i'm just dealing with like the homeowner um and like real people who want who want to renovate spaces that they live in but yeah that is all i have for you guys i'm so i'm so excited i'm really excited for this journey i know i haven't been speaking about it that much but the reason why i was shying away from speaking about this um this business that i started is because i didn't want to get a lot of clients because i started getting clients before i even announced my my business and, and i was nervous that i wasn't gonna be able to i wasn't gonna be able to um I, I, I was a bit nervous that I wasn't going to be able to manage uh, because I, I I don't know I was just I don't have a big team so I was a bit nervous about that but so far I've been handling like we've been handling it really well uh, we have our team the guys that we selected to be a part of our team they're really really amazing it's people that we've been using for most of our renovations here in the house um, so yeah I'm really I'm really happy and I hope I hope I'm just praying and I hope that everything goes well and um, yeah I'm really happy so if you guys have been uh, wanting to book my services if you guys want to hire me as your interior designer I am available I am available anyway that is all for now I think I will see you guys um, I'll see you guys later The round one, or oh, you don't like that one, the tiny one. Fine. That one, both one. Okay. You just change this. Do you want this to match the ones that we have on the mixer? Yeah. This normal one like that. So you can you also make that one in, in brushed brass? Yes. Okay. These ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
I get the price of this one. morning guys I haven't vlogged in a minute um, I wanted to pick up my camera today and just try and see if I still like or enjoy this um, I've been thinking and um, um, I've actually been thinking a lot about vlogging because I've not I've actually not been enjoying it um, I've not been enjoying vlogging I haven't been enjoying um, I haven't been enjoying like the normal like everyday type of vlog um, like that vlogging style I haven't been enjoying it and I think it's also mainly because I've just been really um, enjoying um, what I've been doing like the interior design work that I've been working on so it, it kind of like I don't know I don't want to say it changed my my what am I trying to say it's not that I I don't know how to put it but I've been enjoying what I've been doing so much and I started like not enjoying like the normal vlogs that I've I was like filming um, I think also because but yeah i've just not been enjoying the normal vlogs that i was filming uh the type of content that i was filming i felt like it wasn't um it wasn't really educational or there was just nothing to learn from it and i i don't know i don't know maybe you guys were learning something i don't know but i i just started feeling like it's pointless it doesn't make sense like it's just me documenting my life and for what reason i don't know but yeah that's just basically how i've been feeling i haven't been watching vlogs or filming vlogs uh because i've just been so bored um with that type of like um lifestyle content yeah i've been very stressed because of some like decisions that i i i have to make uh, i'm gonna make soon um it's a very big decision for me because um i mean i've been thinking about it for a while but i didn't think how it was gonna happen like so soon hi my angel hello that's blue and what else also i've been enjoying wearing dresses you guys i have like my favorite two dresses that i recently got the one that i wore in my kitchen toys one it's um one of the dresses that i recently got i love them absolutely love them there's another one let me show you this one but this one i did try it on i wasn't really happy with how it fit uh it's also a bit like short um uh, but yeah it has buttons oh well, you guys can see them it has buttons yeah i'm a huge 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 fan of this one but this one that i wore in my in my in my kitchen tour i love it i love it so much you guys i want to wear this dress every day 
I love it. I cannot wait for summer so that I can like wear it. Um, but yeah, I was wearing this dress on my, on my kitchen tour and I was freezing because it was cold. But I had to wear it. It just it just made sense with the with that video. I'm also going to be working. There's actually a lot of things that I want to talk to you guys about. I'm also going to be. I've started planning the guest bathroom reno. So I went to get. Uh, I mean to select um, all the products that I'm gonna use. Um, I didn't vlog, but um, it is a sponsored renovation which is like i'm so grateful for all these like sponsors because renovations are expensive renovations are very expensive so i'm super grateful for like the brands that want to sponsor my renovations like it makes me so happy like i i i never get used to it babe asa something something watch else so that up so so i'm done like i'm in long how yeah anyway i want to show you guys some of my favorite dishes that i recently bought before i end this video i want to show you guys my plate because that's the reason why i came here in the kitchen i want to show you my beautiful plates that i've been collecting um i'm not gonna show you all of them just my favorite ones the ones that i have here All of them, I buy them from like vintage uh, antique stores. Oh, guys, I'm on my period and uh, the period pains are killing me. Mm. I need to finish this, then I can I can rest. But this one, this is my favorite. Like, I love this little dish so much. I think I've shown you guys this one and. I love the blue, the details, uh, I love the gold trim and I've been using this one every day. I use it for like my oats and I love it. I love it so much. I've really been enjoying using these. And then I have these. I love the shade of blue and I love that this one is not as vibrant as this one. Um, it's very like dusty. It looks very old. Uh, so I only got two of these. They only had two. Uh, so I got two And then also you guys these are very affordable and I know this is not everyone's style Some people don't like these at all and I completely understand because I only started like Loving these when I moved into this house. I didn't really it wasn't really my style but obviously my style changed as like when I moved into this house or when I was looking for um, for a house to buy, my style had changed. And then, oh guys, these ones, I found them a week ago and I had to get, I got, like, I got a lot. I got two of this size, like the big plate. So I have two of these. And then I have of these guys these are so stunning look at this pattern the floral detail i love this very deep vibrant blue i just love them so much so yeah um and then i got these the size these are just um these are like a bowl and i love that these ones also have the design outside inside and outside unlike the other ones but yeah guys i love these i love these so much and then the last one last set is this one so it's just a small bowl so these are the dishes and plates i recently got and i love them so much like these just make me so happy whenever i'm cooking i always make sure that i use these because they're just so beautiful like i don't know it just adds something to the food that i'm cooking or to the food that i'm eating and i love them so much i think that's all for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next video i'm not sure what that video is going to be about because as i mentioned i just don't like posting like 
I don't know how you guys feel but let me know I obviously know that my niche is like home related home type of content home renovations home decorations that's my niche um, but I just want to know if you guys like want me to focus on that because that's what I really enjoy and to me that doesn't feel it doesn't feel forced so it feels like I'm just living my life just like I normally do but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys